in the beginning of the Rinzai Roku, Master Rinzai said, if I were to demonstrate the great matter in strict keeping with the teaching of the Founder's School, I simply couldn't open my mouth. Good afternoon, Roshi. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. On this second day of Nyogen Senzaki commemoration session, I'll say something about that. Uh, wonderful weather, feels good. I'm sweating. Um, I had a communicate, I have to say this, I had a communication just over lunch. Uh, text-based, my wife sent me, good luck on your drama talk. <laughs> <laughs> Autocorrect. <laughs> so uh, we, you know, we went, back, <laughs> we went back and forth and she goes, I wish you no drama. She, she has sat many sessions in no Shinge Roshi, so she knows, she knows what's going on. Uh, yeah, okay, so um, I won't keep you too long. Uh, I know you have places to go. I promised Gento a plug. In the next hour, uh, Zazen or sensory awareness led by Gento. Uh, day one, I probably will not be in the Jisha seat after this talk immediately to make the announcement, so I'll make it now. Day one and three is yoga. Day two and four, Gento will be leading sensory awareness. Now, I know this word sensory. I know awareness. I have no idea what he's going to do. But I promised you a plug. I'm going to be mindful of the time. I started to think about this talk when Roshi asked me to do it. A little bit ago, not too long ago, but a little bit ago. And at last month, Mandala Day, Threefold Sangha meeting, I gave a talk and I structured it around um, Endless Vow. I used haikus for springtime. Um, this time I picked up the Rinzai Roku and I said, okay, I'll do the same thing. I'll find a bunch of quotes and I'll build a structure. And I didn't get past the first line. If I were to demonstrate the great matter, second, in strict keeping with the teaching of the founder's school, third, I simply couldn't open my mouth. In turn, from the bottom up, I simply couldn't open my mouth. Not good enough? How about this? <laughs> See the feelings? <laughs> How to express. This is you all experience. We all experience. I'll come back to it. Going backwards, this in strict keeping with the teaching of the Founders School, I won't address this. You must study. I will study it more. If I were to demonstrate the great matter, so this isn't a Rinzai lecture. I'm not going to be lecturing on the Rinzai Roku. I have a collection of thoughts. I urge you to 
take advantage of Hokuto Sensei's Rinzai classes when they appear, six week classes, and to study yourself and by yourself, study yourself, sure, uh, study by yourself, of yourself. And even if you took one of Hokuto Sensei's Rinzai classes before, they're not the same each time. Different aspect, different part of the book, different something. So, am I getting uh, commercial residuals for all these plugs? Yeah, I'm getting something. Rinzai begins with the great matter. Life and death, your life, your death, our lives, our death. It's not far from us anywhere these days. The Ukraine, sorry, Ukraine. COVID, violence. Go to bed at night and don't wake up. You don't know. This great matter, this, this. So we have several chants where we have this. We now can see this. We now can listen to this. Maybe that part, yeah, I can see it. I can listen to it. Accept and hold this. Maybe that's a little tougher. Accept, hold. Sure. And then we emphasize this word, this. This, in those chants. But this is everywhere. Without differentiation or degree. This. This Dharma Hall, this spring weather, this session, this, this. What is this? How do you express this? How do you express the great matter or anything for that matter? One way is forms and rituals. Second day of Sashin, everybody settling into the movement, going from here to there. Clearly expressing this. The bell rings, you stand up. The bell rings, you sit down. Same bell, different action. This. Clappers. Anything. So one way is form and ritual. When you are completely stuck, what's the next action? Form and ritual may bridge you there. It may do more than bridge you. It may just show you for real. What about one-on-one? -on -one? Right now, one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Many on one. One-on-one. -on -one. How do you express? How do you? Not just shut your mouth or open it so wide. Making a mistake is surely there. Shutting your mouth. What do you do? What do you do when you're outside the form or the ritual? I, um, I've had people over the years 
come to sit, you know, I live in Austin, Texas. We have a Zendo there, an Aikido school. Over the years, decades, and you all know this, I'm not saying anything you don't know. There will be people who will come and the forms will not click immediately. They won't, why, why, what, why? Really? Three times bow or the, what? Chanting. So I've had people who over time really come to appreciate the form, the chant. The more reticent they were, the more they took to it over time. Um, I have the same situation, for example, in, in a lot of arts or a lot of, uh, have the same situation. Somebody jumps in whole hearted, great. Will it last? Sometimes somebody is a little on the border edge watching what's going on. And over time, deep, deep clarity. So you don't know. You don't know. Cannot, I cannot discount anything. Anybody. Anywhere. Anytime. For any reason. Amazing things happen. That's why I have notes. This one-on-one -on -one communication, that we have many examples of it in the texts, in the koans, teacher-student, question-answer, call-response. Uh, this is immediate one-on-one -on -one interaction. Kushu, hi! Kushu, hi! Kushu, hi! Kushu, hi! <laughs> How many times? Ad infinitum. Respond. We get this hype. Most of us. Training a little while. Hmm? Daniel! Hey! Hmm. See? Now watch. It's a kushu, kushu. Kushu, hi! Speak! Uh, what should I talk about? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, let me see. Last Tuesday. <laughs> uh, so. A lot of chuckles around the room, a lot of experience. You know, I feel the experience in the room. Not only the seniors who have been here training, but the Kese students working, telling me what to do, please. This one over here, no, very, <laughs> no, very gentle, very gentle. Why don't you do this? Okay. But this uh, call, response, question, answer. You know, question, answer is really call, response. It's not question, okay, let me think. Oh, let me go look it up. It's call, response, question, answer. Not really different written down with a question mark at the end, an exclamation point on the answer. So how, how do you communicate? You communicate as directly as possible. So Rinzai says, I could not even open my mouth and then proceeds to lecture. And students dutifully wrote it down, lucky for us. 
But what do you do with it? Well, you go to Hokuto Sensei's class. You read it yourself. And then you embody it. Don't, don't mistake my talking for any kind of knowing. In yesterday's Teisho, on Yogen Senzaki commemoration, after the commemoration ceremony, Roshi spoke about Nyogen Senzaki, pioneering of Zen in the United States. Ida Russell, Ida Russell, Daisets Tetaru Suzuki, Choran Nyogen Senzaki, great teacher. What was this? This was nothing but I'll get that. Nothing but. It's nothing but. Rinzai talks about the true person without rank. functioning of such a true person without rank, hataraki, the function, the working, the working, the mysterious workings of a true person without rank. What did Senzaki Sensei go through? We can read the story and we can hear the story. You can feel the story. Years ago when I started in Syracuse and I started to learn about this school and I read Namu Dai Bosa and I read and I read and I started to learn. I hesitate to say it, but I felt something about Nyogen Senzaki. I won't tell you what. No, I won't tell you what. But this true person without rank. In the beginning, I was going to say, I have no lecture notes. I just have some points of departure. <laughs> but thank you, Edo Roshi. One, is fascicle the right word? I, sorry, Roshi, if I get into literary territory, I'm in bad shape. Um, one of the sections he talks about the true person without rank. And this is from memory, and I'm paraphrasing, and I didn't know I was going to go here. We all have some status and position in life, multiple labels and ranks. Mother, father, daughter, son, teacher, student, Shika Daitenzo, uh, uh, electronics expert. What else do you have, Togan? So many. <laughs> Thank you for everything you've done for us this session. But through all these labels, I've had many. A uh, 25-year career at IBM. I retired. Took another job. Um, I've been a college professor. I've been a computer engineer. I've taught martial art. I've had so many labels and I've shed so many. And then, but, Kushu, hi, okay. So we function in this world and we are what we are, I, I am what I am, 
Popeye. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I eat me spinach. I like spinach. Anyway, sorry. I, I can't waste your time. Can't waste your time. But the pioneers that were described that were described yesterday, the inspiration, the will, hmm, the true people without rank, functioning from their mysterious workings. You know, mysterious workings like, uh, like you have a clock and you just see the hour hands, but inside, well, I guess when it was Swiss made, it was like all this, comp now, it's, now it's electrons. But something's going on inside, but all you see is the second hand. Tick, tick, tick. Just like right now you're sitting here listening to me and you feel like the second hand is doing this. <laughs> tick. Tick. Anyway, uh, the mysterious workings. Not so mysterious. Look around each and every one of you. the mysterious functioning of your attendance here. Ataraku is just the common verb in Japanese for work, for working. Uh, but in the context of the Rinzai Roku, Ataraki is this mysterious working, this functioning. And it's functioning right here, right now. It's not someplace else. It's not in 1938. It's not 10 years from now when you become enlightened. It's right here, right now, the next days of these sessions, the next minute, the, 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 the sensory awareness class, the get Kushu off the stage moment. All of this, all of this, this is everywhere without differentiation or degree. So the true functioning of a person, I have to tell a story, just a short one. We have time. My relationship with Shinge Roshi has spanned decades. I've been here, there, everywhere. She's always wondering, what is he doing? But I've never felt a loss of connection with Shinge Roshi, Roko Osho, Hoenji. And somehow, through skillful means, she always pulls me back. So it happened about six years ago when Noritake Roshi visited. And Shinge Roshi asked me to do uh, some tasks for him to help. Uh, so I had a wonderful experience. It was, I believe, Golden Wind Session. And Noritake, Noritake Roshi was a visitor. And I got to experience him for that five days. Very amazing. And this is, I'll get, I'll get to one story there, but this is what, this is what, be amazed with each other, with each other's efforts. Just be amazed. Be grateful and amazed. And smile. I know you have masks on, but I can see your eyes crinkle. 
So we went through this uh, Golden Wind session and I got to help Nori Takeroshi with tasks and other things. Um, the very last day. Session's over. Nori Takeroshi is packing up. Time to go. And there were some visitors from Japan with him. Everything was getting packed up, going to be loaded in a car. And he said, okay, Kushu, come down in 20 minutes. I'll have my bag packed. You can take it to the car. Okay, 20 minutes. I come down, a couple bags sitting there. I take them out to the car. I get out the back. I put him in the car. I come back. You know, he's staying in the, you know, down, I don't know what room he was. Downstairs, whatever. And I come in the room. Some of you know this story. He was dressed to go, not well, not entirely. But I come back after taking his bags and he's on his hands and knees in his underwear. <laughs> with a wet rag, mopping the floor. And I dropped on my knees, I said, oh, Roshi, give me that, give me that. He goes, no, 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 no. It's my work. I can't leave a trace. It's my work. That was his working. That was his mysterious inner working. So, you know, I ended up, I did help. I grabbed another rag. We got it done twice as fast, which isn't really the point, is it, to get it done twice as fast? I had one instructor, martial arts instructor, who, Japanese, older Japanese, uh, he used to say about himself, I'm Meiji man. I don't understand this world. He's an older Japanese. He was a kamikaze pilot. 17 years old. And the war ended before his squadron was called up. His family disowned him. I don't know where this is coming from. This was not, it's not in my notes, please. His family disowned him because he didn't complete his service to the emperor, meaning he didn't die. 17 and homeless in post-war Japan. I practice the martial art Aikido. Aikido's home dojo, Hombu dojo, home dojo, took him in. They were taking a lot of refugees in. For, the, for whatever reason, they were in a part, Wakamatsucho, where there was no bombing. So they had this four-story building still intact, so they took in refugees of all kind. Um, anyway, he got taken in and he started to learn Aikido and he became an Aikido master and came to the US and was my teacher for many years. Um, who, who knows why I started talking about him? But he was another person who functioned from the mysterious place. <laughs> um, very interesting, uh, very old school. He practiced, Roshi, you know, you know these people in, uh, I want to say Jersey or, or Brooklyn practice Ichikukai? Tohei Sensei was an Ichikukai practitioner in, in uh, Tokyo. And this is a combination of Shinto and Zen practices, meditation and Shinto exercises, and a lot of shouting and energy, energy, you know, like we shout, like we shout in morning service. A lot of that kind of, not a lot, but some, some of that stuff. And uh, so there's these funny connections. Uh, Funny connections, and I've lost all track of thought. Notes, notes don't work. Uh, the notes don't work anymore. Um, so, uh, 
the these are things that I'm working on elements of what is this what is Kushi doing we come to some crossroads changes in life you stop And less to think because you realize, okay, so look, I just had a birthday. Roshi knows. I finished five cycles of the 12 animals. Now what? Next step. What mysterious functioning is in store for me next? If I look back, everything was an accident. That's what some people will say. I never planned a day in my life. I planned a lot. A lot worked out. A lot didn't. You all know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. I'm just exposing myself. So, I am so grateful for this practice, regardless of my being a terrible student, Roshi, I apologize. But when the gratitude overwhelms me, it overwhelms me. It's amazing. You all know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. I'm not telling myself anything I don't know, except I forget. That's a danger to forget to be distracted, to lose attention. Attention. I was going to say focus. It's not focus. Just lose attention. You don't have to be myopic. You can pay attention to many things. You're very capable. Everyone I you know, trust is. But... The biggest, if I look back, one of the main things that has caused situations has been loss of attention to what I already know. Somebody tries to come and correct me and I say, well, I know that. Really? You don't act it. So my next 60 years will be attention. I hope you will. All right, I went too far now. Don't like to talk about myself. I can... Uh, tell you what your mysterious functioning should be. I, I, I really did, I didn't know how to plan this. I didn't know how long it would take. I wrote down notes and I did save something for the, the end and we'll end relatively early, maybe. Uh, 
I'm really curious about the sensory awareness because I have always thought that this practice, along with the martial arts practice that I did do, is a combined physical, mental, spiritual thing. In the martial arts, I always heard about the Zen this and the Zen that, the Zen of. One of the members in Austin finished a session one week, one time, Roshi. This was when Roshi used to come to visit us in Austin before she became deadly busy. Um, this woman finished a session and I was like, oh, how do you feel? And it was pretty, you know, kind of rough, four days, pretty, you know. And she said, if anyone ever mentions a Zen spa to me again, I'm going to punch him in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the whole uh, Zen of this and the martial arts abuse it. Japanese martial arts schools. There's very, very few that I've, I've met many people and there are very, very few that have any real notion of true training in the Zen school. And I was very fortunate to meet the then Roko Osho, now Shinge Roshi, when I did. It changed everything. I still did the things I was doing, but it changed how, how you express. And still I have trouble expressing, you know, you all know you get in a room alone with her. It's like, speak. What should I say? <laughs> Never ending. Um, but, you know, it's, a, it's something to work on something to enjoy, something to hold precious, this training, this practice, this Sangha, Buddha Dharma Sangha. When in doubt, take refuge, Buddha Dharma Sangha. Enlightened mind, the natural order, no separation. Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. The four great vows, Shujo, Muhen, Gando, I'm off script now. This great vow, the four great vows, but the very first one, Call and response. I vow, however innumerable all beings are, I vow to save them all. Okay, that's your response. What was the call? To save them all. But what was the call? Who called? Who responded? The true person without rank called on the true person without rank. The Buddha nature called on the Buddha nature. True nature, Buddha nature, true nature, self nature, no nature. Pick a word. Who called? Who's calling? Who's answering? Read the Rinzai Roku. It's in there. Go to Hokuto Sensei's class. Or just sit. Along the way, enjoy yourself. A wonderful place. 
every time I walk in the room, I look at the wood, I look at the altar, I look, enjoy it. Oh, I got to get to my seat. I'm going to sit down and keep my eyes closed and maybe the bell will ring. Walk in, soak it all in, and bow. Then go to your seat. Soak it all in and bow. Do I do this all the time? No. I'm running back and forth and trying to remember. I forgot something when I was... You make mistakes. You make mistakes. You don't get it all right. There is no all right. Rinzai said, take it easy, nothing to do, Buji, take it easy, except if the tea has to be made in time for sare, the tea better be made in time for sare, you know, don't, don't, don't mistake, don't mistake that. Or whatever, the cushion has to be out or the cushion has to be away or, or, you know, all these things, all these things. Matter. But. I'll give you. Um, I'll give you what your. Uh, mysterious working hataraki should be. You should bloom. Like a blossom in the springtime. You closed yesterday and so did I on Mandala Day last month with Son Roshi's poem. So I will shamelessly use it again. Hana no yo no Hana no yo naru Hitobakari All beings are flowers blooming in a flowering universe. 